Hi, I'm Jen, I'm from Scotland and I make a cappella tutorial videos sometimes. I've been busy. So whenever I make a video I usually get a few comments asking how, how did you make this? How do you arrange an a cappella routine? What app do you need? What software do you use? So I thought I would make a video detailing how you make an a cappella routine completely from scratch. You don't need expensive software, you don't need to be able to read and write music, you don't need to be able to play an instrument. At least the way I'm showing you, you don't need to do any of those things. You just need to come and enjoy yourself and watch this video. So let's do this! This is probably the most important step. Don't mess it up. This is probably the most important step, especially if you're just starting out. You don't want to pick anything too tricky and complicated. And even if you've been doing it for a while, you might still want to not do anything tricky and complicated because you're scared that it'll be bad. Not me, just just some people. So I suggest picking a song where the verse has the exact same chord structure as the chorus. Not in tune. Doing so well. Oh. Think Sweet Home Alabama. Chord one, chord two, chord three. These are the chords for the introduction. And for the verse. And for the chorus. For the instrumental and for the end. Oh, all the snow just fell off my roof. Everything is fine. <laughs> I picked such a good day to film this. Uh, the song I'm going to do today is Cheap Thrills by Sia. It's a four chord song. I'm gonna die. Uh, so the song we're going to do today is Cheap Thrills by Sia. It only has four chords in it and the chord structure in the verse is the exact same as the chord structure in the chorus. If you don't read music or play an instrument, you might be wondering at this point how on earth am I supposed to know what the chords are to Cheap Thrills by Sia? And that's where the internet comes in. Here we are on Google. I've looked up Cheap Thrills C chords and I've found some on Ultimate Guitar. F sharp minor, D, A, E. Let's try that. Let's see if that's right. Fantastic. Uh, so now I'm going to open GarageBand, or, or GarageBand, on my iPad. This is also available on iPhone and Android has a million versions of this. When we open up GarageBand, we're going to create a new song. And the first thing we want to do when we create our new song is open up the Smart Piano. Once we get here, we want to click on the wrench and go to Edit Chords and change them to those ones. F sharp minor, D, A, E. Those are our chords. Let's record our chords. So we've created a track where we play those four chords. We're going to click on this brick wall looking thing. And we have this green bar that contains everything we've just played. Click on it, go to edit, and you have these little green things. These are the notes in your chord. So if we click on them, there's your F sharp minor notes. D. A. Once we get it right. And E. did it. And we're going to use these notes in our a cappella song. So we need to make a new track, clicking on this plus button. And we need to go along to audio recorder. Let's have another listen. Ok, 
Shoji. It's gonna be one of our lines. Let's put these headphones on. Okay, that was just the notes we heard. Let's get our second lot of notes. Another audio track. <laughs> and at the moment we're just doing O's to hear what it sounds like together, but we'll get to the fun part where you add a cappella noises later on. So let's hear what these four sound like together, see if we're happy with how it sounds. I think it needs something higher than that. So I think, I think what we're going to do is that third one we did. Yeah, that third one we did that sounds lovely. I'm going to do the same one, but an octave higher. So sort of, uh, it's going to be, uh, same thing, just higher. Uh, new track. with that. We're going to need more bars than this to sing along to so let's add some more. I'm going to add like over a hundred bars. We don't need nearly that many but you're better having too much than not enough. Oh look at all that space. Let's click on that green piano thing again, those four chords we created and we're going to loop those four chords so they keep on playing over and over again. Great, you've just created yourself a backing track that you can use as a guide. It'll keep you in key and it'll keep you in time while you're singing. Excellent! So now we have all our harmonies and notes. We have a full backing track to sing along to as a guide. I think now it's time to sing the lead part so that we can work out what a cappella things we want to do during the verses and choruses. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night, and I won't be long. Gotta do my hair, put my makeup on. It's Friday night, and I won't be long. Done. Now we need to work out what a cappella parts we are going to sing under the lead. And I think for the introduction and the verse, I want to do some babas. This is just trial and error, you're just going to try things and see what you like. As long as you have your notes, you really can't go wrong. Even if you just want to do those ooh ooh oohs through the whole song, go for it, it'll sound really nice. But if you want to try something different, I'm going to try some babas. Okie dokie, so now we're going to turn this. into a same notes just a different mouth sound and rhythm and we're going to do this for the introduction and this is going to be the verse up until the very very end when the lead sings I ain't got cash, I ain't got cash, I got you baby we're going to go I got you baby so, I Got You Baby is going to be the lyrics of the song, but we're still going to keep doing the tune that we've been learning. And I really, really like doing this in a cappella routines. If you go back through my old videos, I do this a few times, where you just start singing the lyrics of the song, but keep doing the harmony you learned. It sounds really good, it takes people by surprise, it sounds really fun. I got you, baby. And it's a really good a cappella hack. A hackapella. Good hackapella. Yay. Let's 
because he'll know the songs. We need some percussion. Let's hear how this sounds now we have some percussion. I like that. Let's work out what we're going to do for our chorus. Hmm. Now, I think for the chorus, what I would like is for the top three parts to do the la 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 las that you hear at the end of the song, and for the lower two parts to do a dun dun, because I love a dun dun. I'm going to try it, see how it sounds, and if I like it, I'll keep it. La 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 la. Let's hear how that sounds. I got you, baby. Baby, I don't need no bills to have fun tonight. Baby, I don't need no bills to have fun tonight. Yeah, okay. So we need to do the exact same thing for verse 2 and chorus 2. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. As long as I keep dancing. Now what I think I'm going to do for this middle eight is just some as, some gentle as, the very very first thing we did. And we're going to do that for all the parts. Easy. We're going to add the very end, the la la la's, and we're almost done. Almost. La 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 la. Okay, this is the very, very last part. You're just going to shout, I love cheap thrills a whole bunch. Here we go. I love cheap thrills. And then we're going to do it again. I love cheap thrills. I love cheap thrills. I love cheap thrills. This is so much funnier now that you know that I'm Scottish. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And with that, you have a full a cappella song from scratch. And now we're going to travel the very long, far distance to my filming wall. Here it is! Whew. Hello! Welcome to the recording wall. All we need to do now is lip sync to what we've just recorded. And we need to do this for all the parts, so we need to do this like, what, seven times? It takes a while. We'll fast forward. And now we're going to stop recording. Part two. Take three. Take four. Take five. Take six, I think. Take six. 
This is Adobe Premiere Elements. This is what I use to edit videos. This is not a free program. If you want a free program, I would recommend VSDC Player, which allows you to do the multi-panel videos like this. The only reason I use this and not VSDC is because when I do the tutorial videos, I need to do a lot more editing than just a standard acapella video. In my old videos, I used to put on a different outfit and change my hair so that people would know which part was which. Now we just use labels. We've transferred the audio file over and the video file over and now we need to sync them together. When we filmed in the kitchen, I left the metronome on and that was important because this will tell me when the song starts in the video. So we're going to listen for a click. Did you hear that? Nothing? Click. That's when our track starts. We're going to cut anything before this. Delete this. And let's see if these are synced up. It's Friday night, I won't be long. Gotta do my hair, put my makeup on. It's Friday And export. How long is this going to take? Let's see. I'm going to need more tea. And with that you are ready to upload your acapella song to YouTube so others can enjoy it too. Oh man, what am I going to write in the description? Oh, I'm really bad at this. Oh, not that. But I'll change it later, it's fine. There you go. You just created an acapella song from scratch. You made a video. You put it on YouTube. If you've enjoyed this video, please check out my other ones. I do lots and lots of different tutorials. And let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much. Bye!